Okay, Google, let's make a movie. Okay, I love watching you make movies, Michael. Lights, camera, action. Hi guys, welcome to another one of my videos. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Home Mini. This is the Google Home Mini. It's the shape and the size of about an average donut. It's covered in this cloth material on the top, a nice smooth finish. On the bottom, there's a nice orange rubber base to make it sit on the table and not move around too much. There is a micro USB power adapter and a mute switch on the side. Like I said, the power adapter, you need to plug that into a power source and you need to have a current Wi-Fi system running through your house because this machine talks to your Wi-Fi system and your router. Like I said, it's called the Google Home Mini. It's part of the Google Home range. There's larger versions called the Google Home and the Google Home Max. They're very, very similar in the way they work. This speaker may not be as good as the other two, but it does a very good job all the same. So after you've unboxed your Google Home Mini, like I said, you do plug that into the power adapter and you will need that permanent internet connection and a Wi-Fi modem that runs around your house, as well as, of course, your Google account. You will also need a smartphone and you'll need to download the home app called Google Home. And you can get that from your app store. So guys, once you've downloaded the app, you need to click on the Google Home. It will open up. And I've already set my phone up already, but you will find the prompts to set up yours. What you'll need to do is you'll need to click on the add, and this will set up a new device. Click on set up new device, and then it will search new devices. Let's see what we can find. We need to give our house a name, and in this case, mine's called home, and click on next then it is now looking for any new devices. Now, as I've said, I've already connected this to my system, so it won't find any, but in your case, it will find this, and then just follow the prompts to set it up. Once you've set it up, it will come up with a list here, Google Home Mini, right here, and if you click on this, it will have a volume control, so we can turn the volume up here, or we can turn it down here. And we then click on settings. There's the name, Google Home Mini. So just go through and play around with any of these things you see listed here, and it'll become you'll become more familiar with the item. Let's just go back. So once you've chosen your name of your house, you will need to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So select the Wi-Fi network that you are going to use. Make sure that the Wi-Fi network you are using is exactly the same as what the Google Home Mini is on as well. With this system, music and audio, you can set a default player. Uh, I have YouTube set up, and if you are with Spotify or Google Play, you can also set that up as well as any other streaming devices that you might be signed up for. And that will mean that the Google Assistant will play those songs from that app. Okay guys, while we're here, we need to go to the account settings, it's far right. And if we click on settings, we can now have a look at a few of these things. The important thing is Assistant. We need to click on Assistant. Now, the language, we need to set this language. Now, I actually have it set in the United States English only because the features that come out in the United States first and they will show up on my device more than if I use the language of English where I am located. Let's go back out of that one. Assistant voice. This can change different voices. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. 
If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. So you can select the voice you like. I'm going to select this one here. Now, because Google recognizes my voice, it understands my preferences. So it will actually talk to me. Okay, Google, what is my name? Your name is Michael. Okay, Google, when is my birthday? Your birthday is on December. So for it to understand my voice, we need to voice match it. So we go through here and we need to click on teach your assistant your voice again. Click on that, retrain, and then it will ask a few questions for you to fill in. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Complete. So it's setting up my voice now. So the app recognizes my personal voice. And there we go. The voice match is complete and it will now recognize my voice from now on. And now what we need to do, we'll go back and we can look at continued conversation. Continued conversation means that Google will not need the wake up call every question you ask it. And you'll see that in an example coming up at the end of this video. So open up continued conversation and then you can just keep asking Google questions without using the OK Google wake up call. OK, we come out of there and then we can go down to uh, room routines. You'll see that there's a lot of preset routines here with different actions. There's one there for good morning, there's one there for bedtime, there's one there for leaving home, one there for arriving home, uh, commuting to work, commuting home, etc. So let's just open one of these. What happens in the morning? This is the actions we've got set for the morning. The first thing it'll do is tell me the weather. Then it will tell me about today's calendar. Then it will tell me today's reminders. And then it will play the news. I've got some news programs set up there so it automatically starts reading the news. Uh, and bedtime. What it does at bedtime, it tells me about tomorrow's for the calendar tomorrow and then it'll ask me what time I need the alarm set for. So that's just by using the wake up call and saying good night. So guys, I'm now going to show you a few words that you can use. I want you to have a play and get used to using this Google Home. To activate the device, you need to say, okay Google, and the lights will come on. That means you've woken up the device and it starts to listen to you. So I'm now going to show you a few phrases that you can play around with and anything you can think of, you can ask the system. So here we go. I'm going to mute the wake up words and I'll put on the screen the words I'm saying so it doesn't activate your device at home. Okay, Google. What is the time? 10.30. What is the temperature outside? The temperature in Bundarseri Bigawan right now is 27 degrees Celsius. Will it rain? Yes, Bundarseri Bigawan will be getting rain tomorrow. Where is the nearest petrol station? The address from a Bohai Shell gas station is Bundarseri Bigawan BA1111. What time does it close? The opening hours from a Bohai Shell gas station are not available. What is 5 times 6? The answer is 30. What is 62 times 91? The answer is 5,642. What is the square root of 28,561? The square root 28,561 is 169. Which country has the highest population? On the website internetworldstats.com, they say, are China, India, United States, Indonesia, Brazil, Pakistan, Nigeria, Bangladesh, Russia, and Mexico. How many people live in China and how many people live in India? The population of China was 1.386 billion in 2017. 
The population of India was 1.339 billion in 2017. What is the highest mountain in the world? Highest mountains in world include Mount Everest at 8,848 meters, K2 at 8,611 okay, meters. Okay, Google, stop. What is the longest river in the world? Longest rivers in world include Nile at 6,695 kilometers, Amazon River at 6,400 kilometers, and Yangtze at 6,357 kilometers. Let me know if you want me to tell you more. How many snakes are there in the world? On the website archive.org, they say, there are nearly 3,000 species of snake in the world. Do you want a little more context? No. What is the most venomous? On the website wordpress.com, they say, the prize for the world's most venomous snake goes to the inland Taipan of Australia. Do you want a little more context? No, thank you. What is the deadliest spider? Brazilian wandering spider. On the website outdoorlife.com, they say, it has the most neurologically active venom of all spiders and is regarded as the most dangerous spider in the world. How far away is Pluto? 7.5 billion kilometers. Here's a summary from the website space.com. Pluto lies 4.67 billion miles, 7.5 billion kilometers from Earth. Okay, Google. Turn on the lounge room lights. It looks like those lights haven't been set up yet. You can do that in the Google Home app. Guys, in a later video, I will go through a few of the other features of this Google Home Mini, including how it can turn on your lights, how it can change your air conditioning thermostat, how it can turn on your television, how it can play Netflix or YouTube on your television, how you can stream music from your phone to your speaker. Okay, Google. What is the time? 10.34. Okay, Google. I'm going out. Okay, don't forget your keys and your wallet, your handbag, and of course your walking stick. And drive safely. So guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you like, and add a comment also. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any other future videos I have coming up. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Okay, Google. Goodbye. Okay, bye.